Students and teachers at East Middle School organized a walkout today in protest of the school board's recent decision to close their school this fall. Our Michael Lagerwell attended the walkout and is now live at East Middle School. Michael? Kyra, now 100 middle school students at East Middle School walked out today in protest of D51's recent decision to close down their school. Holding signs and chanting, they made their case for why East Middle School should stay open. It's been a safe place and a home for so many kids. Aiden is one of more than 100 kids who walked out of East Middle School at 2 p.m. on Monday to protest D51's official closure of East. Uh, I don't want this school to close down. Students say they worry about what would happen to staff when East closes. I've really grown to love this school and I feel like the support is really there <clears throat> with all of the teachers and counselors and stuff like that. Because of the huge impact they had. Mr. Moreno, Mr. Somerville and Mr. Stanfield, those guys are the reason why I still am breathing today. Others pointed to the school's test scores as a reason why East should stay open. Our testing is going really good. Other than Redlands, we're uh, one of the best schools in the district. One student in the challenge program was concerned about the commute to Orchard Mesa Middle, where the program is being moved. Which is really almost across the valley, and it makes it extremely hard to get to and from school, especially with busy parents and a busy schedule. One parent of four voiced her concerns about her kids being forced to attend different schools. All my children are going to have to start over next year, somewhere new. And even D51 school board member Doug Levinston, who voted against closing East, said he felt the board rushed the decision. One could argue we were acting in haste. We want to make sure that uh, we can look people in the eye and say, there was no other alternative, and I'm, and I'm not so sure that is the case. In an interview last week, school board president Andrea Heights and two other board members who campaigned on listening to parents say in this case they listened to a demographer's recommendation. Our primary role as a school board is to listen to our local community. Now with the, the closures, we do have to look at it from a fiscally responsible standpoint as a board. That is actually one of our main things that we're supposed to do. Now, the school board has not made an official decision on Orchard Mesa Elementary or Orchard Avenue Middle School. And when I spoke to Doug, he said he respects the decision his colleagues on the school board made regarding East Middle School. But with these next schools on the chopping block, he hopes the board will take more time to discuss their closures. Now, in speaking with one of the parents at the walkout earlier today, she mentioned the possibility of D51 moving to a four-day school week, something many schools across Colorado have already done, she claims it could save D51 enough money to keep all the schools open. But that's all for now. Fox 4 News outside the East Middle School, Michael Lagerwell reporting.